take your bucket out. <laughs> Put that little bucket down there. <laughs> Well, folks, as you saw, bait was relatively pretty easy. Two casts and we were done. More, way more than what we needed. But we've got plenty of chum and we're gonna head offshore. We're gonna head into about 90 feet of water. That's where we did well yesterday. So we're gonna try it again. Um, today, we'll, I'm gonna incorporate the underwater camera, kind of show you what we're looking at, what's down there, so you guys have a better understanding offshore of what we're looking at when we're on the, on the sonar and underwater camera so you can kind of really know exactly what uh what we're looking at and what we're seeing so once these guys get done cleaning up we're gonna head off and get it done Well, today, folks, we've got eye candy, we've got Bucket Man, Nanner Man, and myself. And it's going to be a race to the end to see between Nanner Man and Bucket Man who's going to win the golden toilet seat. But Chad's on his way right now. Chad's caught two of the dinkiest grunts and the dinkiest strawberry grouper you've ever seen in your life. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Those two small grunts is a large leap for Nanderman to catch me. Dinky grunt in a row. About what's face like. Did you get to the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Ooh, Chad's on a roll. There you go. What you gonna do, Tony? Nothing. Oh, more Huh? Nice. Feet of water. I've only I've got the only two fish in the box. Go time. Watch Chad catch two. Kept these. Dang, Nanderman's on the boat before Chad is. Yeah, but it's the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, folks, I'm going to send down the underwater camera to show you exactly what we're looking at. You can see on the screen here where we have a ledge right here. We have some really hard bottom and some really rocky bottom. And you can see the fish coming up in the water column. Uh, we've caught mangrove snapper, yellowtail snapper, red grouper, gag grouper, scamp grouper, trigger, trigger fish, 
So we've caught a lot of different fish, uh, but I think that they're catching on to us at this spot, so we're gonna move a little bit. But there's a bunch of ledges out in this area, even though it doesn't show on the, uh, as you can see, there's, this one actually extends out. It goes from here and there's a ledge here and it goes out and it goes all the way out to this way. So you can see where it goes. So you just kind of follow where it's not marked. You kind of follow that and get an idea of, of what you're looking at. But as you can see underwater, there's a lot of life down there. There's a lot of rocks, good, good ledges. Uh, so this is what I'm looking at on my machine when I see a show of fish, like I'm seeing here, show a fish here. So that's telling me, and you can see some rocks over here. You can see the ledge, you can see the ledge over here too. So there's a lot going on down there. This has been a great area for us. We haven't fished in a long time until yesterday and we did very well here. We've done well this morning. We're waiting on the minor feeding time to start. So I might adjust this a little bit since we've worked it pretty hard here. But I just wanted to show you exactly what we're looking at down below. So you get an idea of what your screen looks like compared to what it looks like down below. Yeah. Did I just see what I saw and saw? I can't even talk. Did he just megapixel that thing to death? <laughs> Oh man! Oh, not! I knew that thing. <laughs> mm, Todd, can you go show him how to tie it up? Will you show him and all the fans at home how to tie a true leader to? Come on, man! That's why it happened. I'm gonna start tying it up. It's a clown show right now, folks. <laughs> Absolute clown show. Nanner man's dropping in, dropping jigs straight into the water without even tying on. Tony's knots are breaking. Chad's catching yellowtail. I'm having a camera. You're talking. I'm talking. Show's on. Come on, Tony. I've got the 360 here. Hey, you're not turning the handle, Randall. Turn the you gotta handle, Randall. Turn the Randall. handle if you're going to catch him. You got to get him off the bottom to catch him. He's in it. Turn the handle, Randall. He's fighting it like he's got thread on that rod. What was his leader side? I don't know. I don't know what he's got on there. <laughs> I mean, he was confident he was going to catch it. I see color. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> There's still plenty of time for his knot to fit. Friends like these, who needs them? <laughs> Think? I mean, the sun's not really out, but I would think you'd be getting oh, close. That's a shark. Oh. Big old Gumby. Is that what it is, a Gumby? Yeah. Hey, Gumby. <laughs> got Tony's, buddy. How much of a fish she got it? There he is. Did he? Shark? Right there. Was it a shark? Yeah. Okay. Shark! It was up high too. Real Chad, real! I am, I am. I real! Am. Nice. Another yellow tail. Still not as big as mine. Hey, it ain't about the size. 
anybody can throw up on a big It's one. about how you wiggle your worm. Yeah. <laughs> Size doesn't matter. At least oh, you matter. know what we talked about yesterday? Yeah. We are we are thinking about doing a TBFC calendar. <laughs> now, it will incorporate the core group. Bucket Man, Eye Candy, Banana Man, Nanner Man, um, The Ripper, Dirty Ernie, Queen Katie. <laughs> Heads up! In the, in the water there, buddy. So, our core group will be in the calendar, but we are going to do possibly a second calendar, and this one will be all eye candy. So, like, January, he'll be the baby new year. February, he'll be Cupid. March, he'll be a leprechaun. <laughs> I agree. April showers. <laughs> when do I when do I get to be a Oompa Loompa? What Oompa month? Loompa Oompa Dee Dee. <laughs> What do you guys think? Good idea? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> Terrible idea. Sadly, I think I can't use calendar without sell all of them. I know, right? <laughs> Did you know how many gag gifts that would be? Oh, no. <laughs> what do you mean gag gifts? They're $69.95. There ain't no gag gift for $69.95. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be gay. Three or four easy payments hey, of 1995. All I'm saying, bro, is in February, your boy has to have some type of fluffy stuff wrapped around him for Valentine's Day. Well, no, we're gonna dress him up as Cupid. Get him, Tony. That ain't it. Now that it might be it ain't, now. Yeah, it ain't whatever he had. No sense, yeah, right. <laughs> All right, we'll try this again. I thought you were teaching them a lesson. Turn that camera back on you, Chad. Oh. There's a 360 up there, so oh. that one will get your reaction. I guess it doesn't matter. All right. Well, they want to they want to see more megapixels, Tony. Sorry, <laughs> no no film for you. Not enough megapixels. <laughs> Woo! Look at that shake. That was on a white bait. Yeah, maybe. I wonder why a shark would ate a white bait. I don't think the shark ate the white bait. The shark ate the fish. Ate whatever he had. he had? Yeah. That could be. Come on. I mean, his man. rod right above his hand says brute force. I ain't seen any brute force yet. Think positive, Bucky. Think positive. You got this. You got this. You got this. Yeah, I know I have it. Come on, Bucky. <laughs> Keep him busy. Meanwhile, in the finish. back of the boat. Yeah, keep your whatever over there. Folks that are new to the channel, nice yellow bear. We have these nicknames, and 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 Tony's had a couple of nicknames, kind of like I can. But he used to have slackline Tony. Why did we ever call him that? Because he, he kept, kept reeling his, reeling his eye. Line into yeah. his eye. He kept so reeling then, the jig into his one eye. One day we started doing the buckets, and he tied a bucket off to the cleat, and needless to say, he tied a knot. Imagine that. <laughs> and the bucket went overboard and floated away for a little bit until we were done fishing. Went back and got it. So now we call him Bucket Man. And it's kind of like that song Rocket Man. But just think of it as Bucket Man. Bucket Man leaving Dude, you rest that bucket fish all rest. alone. Get on him.
Tony, you rest, it rests. And I mean, I think it's the hat. I think if you, I think if you get a real hat. That Gilligan hat doesn't help. That was a two speed. It is, but right now it's a no speed. <laughs> that handle ain't turning. He ain't earning. Be careful, Tony. If you break, you're going over. You're going to, you're going to pop. Tony, it's only a 30 minute show, buddy. <laughs> Don't take up all 29 minutes. On second thought, go ahead and keep that on there. He ain't messing with my fish. He's catching all those yellowtail on. Shrimp, Shrimp, right? Yeah. Is he crying? Is he crying yet? We'll be back in a moment. Yeah, folks. we'll be back. Enjoy, enjoy this uh, commercial from a short word from our sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> from all seventeen of them. <laughs> when we come back, it'll be dark, but it'll be okay. I don't think my wife would like that. Not on our anniversary. Now he's going that way, Tony. Control your fish. <laughs> you want some of this? No. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> hey, what what let go? Oh, that, was, that was a big shark. <laughs> Dude, I'm you, I had it locked Holy down. Cow. Well, at least it was bit off and not yeah. broke off. Finally, he ties a knot that'll hold. I had freaking. <laughs> I thought you were gonna bring him in. Come on, bucket man. That, no, that's, I, I, that's all I heard that entire drive in this morning. Was yep, I'm, how he was gonna teach it a lesson. <laughs> a lesson. Was that on the other grunt? No, that was on a white bait <laughs> that got eaten by something that got eaten by something. <laughs> Well, folks, another day on the water, and it was it was a good day. It was uh, got a little breezy, uh, but we we knew that that was going to happen. So uh, we actually ha ended up having to go on anchor because the tide and the wind were going with each other. So it made it a little bit tough to stay on the trolling motor. But we were able to anchor up, catch some fish. As you see on the table, we caught mangrove snapper, we caught yellowtail snapper, we caught strawberry grouper, uh, porgies. Um, we caught red grouper, scamp grouper, gag grouper. So we caught a lot of fish. Uh, just, you know, now that red grouper is closed, gags are still closed. So the drive by Nannerman. <laughs> the drive by Nannerman. Um, he slept half the day as usual. But <laughs> anyway, we had a good time as usual. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, got an understanding of what I showed in the beginning of the video talking about what I'm looking at on the sonar and what we're looking at on the underwater camera. It's uh, a different world. It actually helps me a lot when I'm looking at certain things. Uh, it actually gives me the ability to actually see what's down there instead of, um, you know, kind of guessing. I'm not, I don't have my dive license, so I don't, or dive certification, so I don't do any of that. But that, that is a way to help you out to be able to figure out, uh, you know, what is down there, what you're looking at. And I get people asking me all the time, what camera do I use? And it's the Acaso uh, Brave 7 is the one that I use. I think it's like 89 bucks. It shoots in 4K, it shoots great video. It's relatively inexpensive. So if something does happen, it's not a huge expense like a GoPro. Uh, so that's what I use. I'll put a link down below to uh if you're interested in buying that no i don't get anything for it it's just a camera that i've been using for a long time and it's worked great i actually mounted on top of a chum king uh which is i'll i'll put a picture of it right here and i mount it to the top i mount a gopro mount on the top and then i connect it there and i send it down with the rope and it gives you a steady nice 
looking picture so you can look all around and when the boat's kind of going up and down it actually adjusts the camera by itself so that's pretty cool but i think i'm going to get an insta 360 camera another one that is waterproof to send down there so we have a 360 degree view i've seen it before and it's pretty cool but anyway enough of me rambling i want to say thank you to everybody for watching we really appreciate it this week's golden toilet award goes to nanner man unfortunately <laughs> as he's in the warehouse <laughs> <laughs> Tony's happy about that. <laughs> so anyway, thanks again, folks. Appreciate it. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.